Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. September was a very busy month for fashion. From red carpets to runways, celebrities were showing their looks off and made statements. Here to break it all down is industry's leading blogger, fashionistas, honey. She's giving it all to the girls. Yes. The founder <laughs> of Fashion Bomb Daily, my good friend, the amazing Claire Sumner. Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? How you doing? I'm amazing. Thank you. First of all, let me just get into your look. This is bomb.com. I you love so much. the color Thank and the you. print. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. And you're giving us a little skin, too. Yeah. Um, this is a DVF dress, yes. and it's very on trend. Yes, We're going to be talking is. about trends later. But, oh, we you sure know. are. But right now, let's Let's get into your over a million followers yes. on your Instagram. How yeah. did that happen for you? You know, I've been doing Fashion Bomb since 2006, so it's been a really long road, mm -hmm. and I think we're just super consistent. Every mm -hmm. time you come to us, you know exactly what you're going to get. Absolutely. And I am committed and dedicated to giving you guys all the tea, all the hottest moments yes. as soon as they happen. Yes, you are. Speaking of hot, hottest moments, let's talk a little bit about uh, Fashion Week. We had um, Fashion Week from NYC to Milan and yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. The first look I want to talk about, though, is Cardi B's. We love Cardi B over at Fashion Bomb. We were the first to ever feature Cardi in an editorial. And here she is wearing Dolce Gabbana runway at the Harper's Bazaar party. Yes. Which was a great look, but it was a little bit overshadowed by, um, yeah. Yeah. by, by her. But that uh, was an iconic look. That was an iconic <laughs> look, honey. <laughs> it was iconic for, for so many reasons. Yes. You know, it was, yes. it was a beautiful color, the jewelry. Um, but the, yeah, and her shoes, we couldn't see them, but apparently but, but I, but I, but I even she used her shoes for more than one one thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but her makeup, er, Erica La Perla did an amazing listen, job with listen, her makeup. Her glam team is on point. Yes. Erica La Perla for makeup, Tokyo Styles mm -hmm. for hair. Colin Carter has been killing it with her fashion all fashion week yes. and um, she gets kudos. Cardi, the come up has just been amazing. I've that been is true. Loving watching, just seeing her glow. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But now we got another queen who's shining and she did her thing too in fashion yeah. week. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I Break know. Break down this look for me. Well, Nikki, 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 Nikki. <laughs> Nikki was doing a lot during Fashion Week. She has hair by Arrogante. She was doing a lot of different um, colors and, and silhouettes. Some worked, some didn't. What, what did you think of that? Well, let Look. me tell you, I thought it was very busy around the top, you know. <laughs> but here's the thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> give, me, give me the look again. So yeah, I, I do, I like that we still can see her physique, her waistline. We still can see her waistline. We definitely can see, yeah. you know, her, her girlfriends. I like that look. <laughs> um, I don't think that it probably should have been busy on the top and the bottom. Yeah. I think that's where it kind of lost me a little bit. But I love the hair. I love the makeup. Um, you know, she's Nikki. It's not too far from what we know Nikki to be in her yeah. earlier years. So it, she can do this. Exactly. And Fashion Week is about making a statement, whether it's hot or hmm. It's about, you know, <laughs> stepping out and just and just Cute. doing something that'll make people talk. So Nikki knows how to do that. Very well, she well. most certainly does. But I got to <laughs> tell you, Kim Kardashian is always making the headlines. But now yes. we got another little one who outshines her. Listen, they're already putting the kids to work. Yes. <laughs> Little Northwest, who is such a beautiful child. She is. I mean, look at her parents, though. But she walked at a, an LOL surprise fashion show. I don't know if you guys have any footage there of her. There she is. Yeah, there we go. Is that her? That's not her. That's not her? <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. Another beautiful little girl. Oh, we'll she get to it later. So, okay, well, I guess we'll come back to Northwest. But yes. uh, she was all over the internet. Everyone all loved over the her internet. look. She had a very fierce walk. She did a twirl, and she had her bag going, and... We just love it. I can't wait to see um, what she continues to do as she grows up. Yes, she does. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the biggest night ever in fashion. Let's talk a little bit about some of the looks that we saw at the Emmys. Yes. It's a huge night. Uh, Marseille. Marseille Martin. I think that's yes. the little girl that we just saw that's here. That's who yes. we saw. This was, so cute. You know, this was my favorite dress of the night. It was just so pretty and the pastels. Mm -hmm. It was like a confectionery dream. And I also love that it was so age appropriate yes, for her. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I love how the, the, the tool, it kind of just ombre down. Yeah, the, so it was it's very beautiful nice. ombre. Yes. Kind of like a cupcake. Yes, just like a cupcake. Something so very cute. sweet. That's right. <laughs> All right, Tracy Ellis Ross. Let's talk a little bit about her look. Okay, when you come to a red carpet, you want to bring the drama. And Tracy Ellis Ross did that. She did it in Valentino, just taking notes from her mom. And she also has just amazing style herself but she always takes risks that I believe um, you know 
Well, out, she was able to pull out. this off because she's yeah. tall and statuesque. Right. So I really like that on her. And then she has a little bit of her neckline that's showing. So she's giving, giving peaks of, of skin there. So I really like that. Yeah. And the color. The color. Yeah, but who else could pull this off Nobody. but Tracy Ellis Ross? <laughs> Nobody. We all look like we have a duvet cover on or something. <laughs> oh my God. But she makes it look couture. She does. She yes. does. Issa Rae. Fabulous, fabulous Issa Rae, look. this is the year of Issa with Insecure. <laughs> did you check out the finale last night? I did not. Last night I was working. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. But it is, you know, she's had an amazing run. Insecure is a great show. It and is. I just love, she has a quirky personality in this Vera Wang jumpsuit. Shows that off. It's it's a jumpsuit, you know, which is not something you would normally expect on the red carpet. But she got she got the most likes on our page for that look. So Well, really slays. quickly, I hate to, to just roll this out really quickly. Angela Bassett, can we get Angela Bassett in? She is okay. fabulous. Really and, quickly. Yes. Angela Bassett, as Ianasta, she ages like fine wine. Oh, look at her. I mean, it's Angelic, like, graceful. Does not crack, and, and she looks amazing. And this designer, Azzy Anasta, is definitely having a moment as well. Well, Claire, I got to tell you, thank you so much for joining us. You are always thank welcome you. here at the Sister Circle. To thank learn more me. about Claire and uh, conversations with Claire, guess what? Go to thebomblife.com and up.